Hey everyone, it's George Crows. Uh, we're doing the Innovate Inside the Box book study. And what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to talk about these three concepts from chapter four that talks about master learners, master educator. We're going to talk about learning for our students, learning about our students, and learning with our students. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the idea of learning for our students. And this is obvious we do in professional learning. Right now, a ton of you are actually taking part in this Innovate Inside the Box book study. And obviously, you're doing this to learn for your, stu for your students. But one of the things that I, I really want you to think about is too often when we try new initiatives and try new things with our students, are we jumping straight to the teaching without doing the learning? Do we actually immerse ourselves in the learning that we want actually to happen with our students? And if you're doing any professional learning, here's, a, here's two questions I think would be really powerful for you to ask at the end of your time. Uh, what did you learn today? And how will your students know and benefit? And if you actually can think of those and the answers on those two questions that would actually make a huge impact on learning in your classrooms. This concept is learning about our students. And this one has to go beyond how do they learn, what you know, what benefits, what their passion, but who these kids are. And I think that's a really important aspect. And one of the things that I always say is that the best research that any educator can do is actually know the people in front of them, the, the people that they serve. And so what opportunities do we actually take to get to know our students, connect with them? And something as simple, and I mentioned this in several chapters, just you know, welcoming them in the, at, at the beginning of the day, being outside, uh, greeting them at the door, having those little conversations, spending time supervision, talking to students, know what their interests are. I think when we actually make those connections, it helps us really tie in a lot of the learning we're doing in our classrooms to what their interests are. And so when we talk about connections, it's not just the teacher knows the student, but the student knows the teacher as well. And we need to make time to make sure those connections are real in our work. And the last one I'm going to talk about is the idea of learning with our students. Now, some of the pushback that I've got on this idea is that, you know, isn't the teacher the expert in the classroom? And absolutely, the teacher is always the expert in the classroom. But it doesn't mean we're the sole source of information. And I'm not just talking about all the access we have to information online, but I'm actually talking to the knowledge and wisdom of the students in your classroom. How do we create an environment where we're learning with our students that we can actually learn from their ideas, what they share, but we actually create this environment where our students can actually learn from each other. It's a really important skill that we we teach them not only for what they do in school, but what they do in life, the ability to actually ask people, it doesn't matter how how smart you are, what you know in a certain, uh, a certain area, we can always learn from other people. And when we create that environment as a teacher in our classroom, it really sticks with our students long after their time in school.